Today we are going to be making one more pocket craft and we are going to use something a little bit different. Now for this craft you are going to need a paper bag. This is just a small paper bag, like a lunch bag. If you don't have a small one and you have a big one from maybe a grocery store like Sobeys or one of those, you could use that. If you don't have a paper bag, then you could use you might be able to use a, a plastic bag, um, but I'm not sure if the paint would work. So you're gonna want to look for a paper bag, if you can, of any size. You're also going to need some paint. And in here I have orange paint, and I have black paint. I also got some paint brushes. You can see I was already a, bit, a little bit busy. And you're going to need like some scrap newspaper. You might wanna go out into the recycling box um, some of the old flyers, newspapers, because we need to crumple them up, okay? So you need a paper bag, some newspapers or crumpled up paper, paint, two colors, orange and black, paint brushes. And also, always make sure when you're painting that you have something on the table so that you don't get paint everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this down so you can see how we are going to make this paper bag pumpkin. Okay, so you can see I have my paper bag here and right now my paper bag is empty. So what you want to do is you want to open it up so it's all full like that. Then you are going to take paper from the little bit empty and you are going to put it in the paper bag and fill it up. Now you can decide how full you want to fill it because that will decide how big or small your pumpkin is. So, after I do this, I'm gonna check. Can you push it down there? Now, right now it doesn't look like much of a pumpkin, does it? But watch, I took the top, and I squish it together. What do you think? You can even poke in the bottoms so it looks more circular. Now you're going to need either an elastic or some kind of string to tie the top of your pumpkin. Okay? Now once you have the string on the top of your pumpkin, then you get to paint. And you will need the orange paint. I'm going to show you, I've already painted one here. So you can see I had some of this fun straw um, kind of ribbon, but you could use any ribbon or an elastic piece of wool, anything to tie it at the top. I have painted my pumpkin on all sides orange and I've let it dry for a little bit. You need to let it dry for a little bit because the next step is going to be adding the face. Okay, so I thought I would show you how to add the face. Now I'm choosing to use paint. Um, you could also use uh, you could also use uh, markers. You could use um, cutouts of the construction paper or paint like I'm doing. It depends what you have at home and what you like to use. Okay, now let's see. What kind of eye should I make for this pumpkin? You might want to have a plan before you start painting on your pumpkin or gluing things onto your pumpkin. So I have decided that I'm going to go with the regular triangle eyes. I like the triangle eyes. Okay, so let's see if I can do that. So I'm going to get some of my black paint here. I'm going to pick one side of the pumpkin and I am going to make two triangle eyes and I'm going to show you in a minute. Now, it's a little tricky. You can see I have one done. Because it's bumpy from the way we scrunched in the bag, it's a little bit tricky. So you have to just Kind of take your time. Don't go too fast. 
and then you're gonna be able to make the face. Okay. And if one eye looks bigger than the other, you can always go back and fix the other one. So, how does it look? Now my pumpkin has two eyes. Now nose, I think I'm gonna do something different. I think I'm gonna do like a little tiny nose. So I'm just gonna dip my brush in the paint again, and I'm just gonna give him a nose like this. Just like that kind of a nose. What do you think? Now should he be happy or sad? I think I want my pumpkin to be happy. So I'm going to give him a great big happy mouth. And I'm going to try and add some teeth. We'll see how well I do. Question makers. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna paint a big smile. So here's my outline. How'd I do? <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to paint it in. This is fun. I haven't painted a pumpkin in a long time. Well, not a paper bag pumpkin anyways. Okay. So there we go. Check out my pumpkin, my paper bag pumpkin. Now you can go back if you want to and add any other details that you want. If you wanted to, you could go back and you could give eyebrows. Some people like to add freckles on their pumpkin. It's your pumpkin. It's your choice. You can also go and paint this a different color if you want or leave it orange. So have fun making this paper bag pumpkin. <laughs>